Now we want to integrate these to react to the Suzanne head. Let's take another object data node, duplicate it, change the object to the Suzanne head, take the transform geo out of Suzanne and plug it into the subtract node, input number one. Click on your Suzanne head, scroll down to the object data properties, scroll down mesh volume, enable mesh volume SDF, increase the voxel resolution, I will divide it by four, and we can change the border thickness inside and out. Now we're seeing doubles, we can get rid of this. Click on object properties, scroll down to offset transform, tick octane offset transform enable. Go to scale, select all these values and put them to zero. Rotate Suzanne, rotate on X by minus 90. If you want more smoothing, increase your voxels. Click back on your Vectron plane, Click on your empty torus transform and move it. Now it should be interacting with Suzanne. I can scale this using the empty node and rotate it. Grab the empty capsule and that interacts now with it. Click back on your Vectron plane. Let's give Suzanne some displacement. Add in a Vectron displacement. Plug that in between the subtraction node and the Suzanne object data node. Now we're going to plug in a texture into the Vectron displacement node into the texture slot. Add a noise texture, plug that into texture. Now we have noise. Add in a projection node. Take the object data transform from Suzanne out and plug it into the XYZ transformation. Now we are free to change our noise pattern. If you add a UVW transform to the noise pattern, we can control the scale. Duplicate the universal material that's plugged into the capsule and plug it into the torus. Now we have the material also on the inside from the torus. Everything in real time. To give Susanna material, Click on Suzanne, go to add material. Now you can add a material. 